So, what are we looking for out here? Well, the map shows all these structures around the volcano. Some abandoned outposts, a handful of watchtowers. Watchtowers? Yeah, Avery was the most wanted man in the world. So if he was hiding something out here, it makes sense he'd need lookouts. And one of those towers is right on the volcano. With Avery's treasure. Fingers crossed. made these cairns. Must be a trail marker. Let's keep an eye out for them. See some ruins up ahead. Wait here. I'll go take a look. Oh, Victor. Still do a lot of traveling these days. Yeah, I try. I tend to pick jobs that get me away from the computer. <laughs> yeah, I was telling Nathan, it's shocking how much of the business has moved to the internet. I mean, I bet you have all sorts of options to get rid of hot coddle now. Yeah, sure, but I prefer talking to clients face to face. Get a good read on it. Hard to do that in a chat room talking uh, to some guy not much to see here. Antiquity master. <clears throat> Well? Ah, nothing worthwhile. Come on, let's keep going. Hey, so with our luck, what are the odds this volcano is going to erupt on us? Zero. It's extinct. Trust me, that's the first thing I looked up when we said we were heading for a volcano. That and where to rent the cheapest four by four. Wait, Sully, you're telling me that you actually did some research? Can't let you be the know-it-all every time. Come with airbags, parachutes. Ah, refreshing. Would you look at that? A secret cave behind a waterfall. Gentlemen, we are on a pirate adventure. What are you, seven? So, Victor, how is it that you know King's Bay so well, huh? Well, first time I did was for a swap. Diamonds. <laughs> of course. The deal went bad and I got arrested. Then I bribed the police chief. Yeah, of course. And in the process of negotiating the bribe, we, uh... It's a note. And I made it a point to come visit every few years. Well, hell, maybe we can preempt any trouble we might get into. Can you still reach out to him? Her. Oh, my mistake. <laughs> it wasn't like that once. We just saw the world in similar ways. Besides, she moved to Brazil. It's been a few years since we've seen each other. Maybe time for a visit. Maybe. First, let's wrap this up. All right, let's get moving.
That's the first time in years I've had two showers in one day. That bridge there is what you would call rickety. Uh, this looks promising. Come on, come on, baby. Let's go, 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 go. Made it. Okay, kid. Just don't drop us. I just keep it slow. Keep it in the center. Yeah, there's a lot of backseat driving going on. Ah! We're good. Everything's good. Jesus Christ. Eh, so much for that rock pile. Technically, it's called a cairn. Yeah, I, I don't like to say that word. It just sounds weird. Cairn. 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 No, no, I don't like it. I'm getting nowhere fast. You need traction here. Nathan, the rocks. I got it. I got it. Shit, shit, shit. the hang of this. There we go. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, my spine. Look, tire tracks. Someone came up this way. Hey, look up there on the hill. Got a tower or something. Now we're talking. Hey, Victor, what were you arguing with the rental guy about? Oh, your brother insisted on getting a 4x4 with a winch. 
So you sprung for the winch, but you couldn't spring for the suspension. I got it. Hey, it's important. Going off-road. It might rain, might be muddy. I'll bet we go through this whole goddamn thing. Oh, see? Shit. Take this slow, kid. Yeah. So, Nathan, you're thinking Avery, too, and some other big shot pirates pulled their treasure and came out here because... why exactly? Who knows? Maybe for protection? British authorities were closing in on them. Sure. Maybe, uh, he helped them disappear. I mean... The guy clearly had a knack for hiding things. <clears throat> Let's go check out that tower. I'll come with. Got some big plans for this winch. in pretty good shape for something several hundred years old. Yeah. They're definitely ruins from Avery's era. There. I know how to do it. <clears throat> Sam, look. That's Christopher Condon's sigil. He's uh, captain of the Fiery Dragon. Operated out of Madagascar around Avery's time. So, maybe Avery recruits pirate captains to, what, be his lookouts? That don't make any sense. No, it doesn't. Well, maybe each captain was responsible for a tower, along with providing the men for it. Well, that looked like fun. Steeper than it looks. All right, ready? Give it a shot. Here we go. Steady. Steady. <laughs> See, Sully? Winch. Totally worth it. We cleared a hill. It hasn't exactly paid for itself. Well, not yet. Small victories. Yeah, well, I'll celebrate the big ones. <laughs> Feast your eyes, gentlemen. Wow. Spectacular. I mean, just imagine. You've come here, a well-to-do pirate far away from your oppressive government. Ha, <laughs> poor oppressed pirates. All they wanted to do was to murder and pillage in peace. No, no, they wanted to live as free men. Well, if you're gonna pick a place to run away from society, you could do a lot worse than here. Let's take him forever to get to this volcano. 
patience, Victor, patience. Do you know how those pirates got here? They had to start in England, sail to Brazil, then cut back across the Atlantic to South Africa. Sam. And they figured all that out with paper, charts, and by looking at the stars. Hey, you're describing sailing to a former squid. The point is, we got it pretty easy. Yeah, well, still taking a long time. Buckle up, everybody! Another cairn. Rock pile. Sorry, Sam Wright. Rock pile. Thank you. How would you look at that? Oh, shit. Stop. Stop. Sam. What do we got? Military types poking around. Nadine's guys? Yep. Son of a bitch. Yeah. Looks like they found an old colony outpost. But the wrong one, right? That's the good news. That means it's bad news. The only route to the volcano is straight to them. Oh, shit. We do have the drop on them. What's the play here, Nathan? Just follow my lead.
Okay, I think that's it. God damn it. Rafe and Nadine must have dozens of guys out here. I mean, they, they could just stumble onto the treasure through blind luck. Jesus, these pirates really need to work on their infrastructure. Now, how do we get out of here? One down, one to go. Again with the winch, Sully. Pretty handy, right? I wasn't against getting the winch. I was against getting ripped off. All right, hang on, guys. <clears throat> Sully, just how well do you know Nadine? Why? I was thinking maybe you can contact her, convince her to call off her goons. <laughs> yeah, right. What if we promise her a bigger cut than Rafe? No, that's not how she operates. She's more of a money up front kind of mercenary. But Rafe's got the advantage there. I'll be right back. What you got? <clears throat> <clears throat> Oh, that was fun. <laughs> Buckle up, everybody! Look, shoreline. Yeah, they're definitely going all in, aren't they? And getting awful close to that volcano. Singing the same damn thing. What if they found the treasure already? Well, look, they're searching every inch of this place. If they'd found it already, they wouldn't be searching. 
Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Hey, Sam. If you don't mind me asking, how'd you pass the time in prison? Uh, you know, reading, mostly. There was this one guard saw me as a charity case, I guess. He had to check out books from the library for me. What would you read? <laughs> History, uh, especially anything related to Avery and other pirates. Just in case, you know. Sure. But, you know, besides books, push-ups, smoking, trying to stay out of fights. But you hey, you think that old building's worth checking out? So, we were talking about, um, no, oh, right, trying to stay out of fights between rival gangs. It's a whole lot of thinking. That's pretty much it. Sam, if you had a guard doing you favors, why didn't you use him to get word to us? Oh, I tried. I asked him to mail a letter to your P.O. box. I never... Hey, hey, is that a well? Well, well, well. <laughs> Get it? You know, because it's a well. <laughs> Damn, these pirates weren't messing around. Did you find something down there? Maybe. Do me a favor, get behind the wheel for a sec. Will do. Hey, Sully, throw the car in reverse. Okay, give me a second. Okay, 
what do we have here? So? Nothing major. I'll show you back at the hotel. Saying, Nate? Oh, yeah. I never got it. That would be because the warden saw it. I got busted up pretty bad and never saw that guard again. Jesus. I got my own back when the warden decided to room me with Alcazar. That didn't turn out how he expected. You know, come to think of it, I actually dealt with Alcazar a few decades ago, even before I met you two. Oh, shit. How are you still alive? Well, he wasn't quite the man he is today. Still working his way up the criminal ladder then. I sold his boss a few woodcut prints I'd smuggled out of Japan. He was into shoguns and such. Alcazar was there. Ah, hell. See that smoke? Oh, shoreline, slow down. Hey, look. Anything in that pit? Oh, check it out. Hey, maybe there's something down there.
Uh, Victor, you were saying? Right. Alcazar was the go-between. What was he like? Soft-spoken, but intense. Like he could explode at the slightest provocation. <laughs> well, he hasn't changed much then, has he? I got my money and got the hell out of there. So, uh, check this out. What if that's man-made or natural? Looks to me to be half and half. Sam, what were you talking about? Uh, oh, right. So, pirate walks into a bar. Okay, here we go. And he's got the steering wheel sticking out of his crotch. All right. So the bartender goes, hey, man, what's with the wheel? And the pirate says back, ah, he's driving me nuts. <laughs> ah, I love that one. Don't make me leave you out here. Uh, we ain't got no auto club out here, Nathan. Buckle up, everybody! Check it out, boys. What is it? see all of King's Bay from up here. Yeah. Hey, look. There's the city. And there's the river valley. <clears throat> I'll let you look at this. Quite the view. <sighs> Just keep waiting to wake up and find myself in solitary or something. <laughs> it's all some kind of dream. Sam. Oh, no. No guilt trip. I'm just... Let's go find this thing. You bet. Someone worked very hard to stack those rocks. <clears throat> Shit! Hey guys, there's another tower just over the hill. See any shoreline, Mercs? Can't tell. Well, it would appear we got here first. Let's uh, check the place out and keep moving. Drawbridge? How medieval. Yeah. Well, you don't put up a drawbridge unless you're trying to keep people out. Or protect something inside. <clears throat> Another sigil. So, do you recognize this one? I do, actually. And Bonnie. Hmm? Operated out of the Caribbean. Thought she died in jail. At least that's what the stories tell us. <laughs> right. Avery must have invited her too. Why do we check out that drawbridge? Sounds good. Hey, be careful, kid. <laughs> Huh. <sighs> 
the stairs are busted. There's no way up to the drawbridge crate. <laughs> Alright, I'll see if there's something up here. Hey guys, there's a massive tower just past the drawbridge. Biggest one yet. All right, I'm up. Be careful. Bingo. Sam, special delivery. Ah! Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey kid, you all right? I'm fine. You all right? Yeah. You got this? Mm-hmm. I seen a few. I'll bring the car closer. You two just relax. I got this. I mean, there's only one crank, you know? <laughs> Keep up the good work, kid.
Let's get that bridge down. Try that again. There we go. Big tower on a volcano. Looks like the end's in sight, huh? <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> hey, Nathan, you maybe you want to ease up? Not to nitpick, but Avery spent all that money on towers. Would it have killed him to put a guardrail up here? <laughs> Gonna take a look around. So just how much do you owe Alcazar? Uh, half. Half of what? Well, he only knows about the Gunsway heist. Which is worth 400 million. <laughs> right, but if Nathan's theory is correct, then there's a lot more treasure. Well, you should have told him it was 200,000. You never tell your partners how much a job is really worth. I wasn't exactly expecting to be partners with him. <laughs> All set. Here we go. Don't spin out now. Shrink? No, but I will after this. Come on, you guys are overreacting. Get the whole thing under control. <laughs> Hold on to something. <laughs> ah. ah, that was a nice change of pace. Yeah, I'm almost disappointed. Uh, uh, almost. This is where we get off, kid. <laughs> oh, we ain't got no auto club out here, Nathan. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> 
bump. Now, let's find our way in. Let's go claim our treasure, boys. Sam, give me a hand with this. Yeah. Get in that way. <sighs> Let's see what we got here. There's something back here. Sam? Yeah. Let's do this. Damn. It's breaked over. All right, let's look around. Hey, careful with that thing, kid. Heads up! Then heads up. Hurry up, you two. And he's up. Sam, wait up. Uh, he's got a lot riding on this. Don't see a treasure, though. Hey, guys. Coming. Come check this out. St. Dismas. We meet again. So, what do we got? More sigils. There's our boy Avery. Thomas, too. And that's, uh... Um... That's Adam Baldridge, that's uh, Joseph Farrell, and that's Richard Warren. Hmm. Pirate captains. All right, so maybe your pirate pool theory wasn't so ridiculous after all. <laughs> all right, so, uh... Let's see, what do you think the trick is here? Gotta push a button, pull something? Uh, maybe... Maybe one of the arms, or... Yeah, give it a shot. <coughs> Come on. Boys. <laughs> Whenever you're done fondling poor St. Dismas, I think you might want to come take a look at this. Trapezoid is obviously the volcano. The crown, that's King's Bay. 
We got ourselves a map, gentlemen. Hector, you're a goddamn genius. Hear that, Nate? Genius. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so if we're here, this tower lines up with Avery's sigil. Okay, so then the other sigils must be the towers from Avery's time. Well, I mean, a treasure's gotta be in one of them, right? <laughs> yeah, but which one? I count 12 towers. Hey, uh, Victor? Huh? You didn't start smoking cigarettes by any chance, did you? Looks like we're not the first ones here. Let's hope so. You okay? Yeah, yeah, fine. Sam? Yeah, over here. Hey, what are you doing? Confirming a suspicion. Shit. Look at this. They figured out the towers, too. Locations, sigils, the works. So now what? Now what? Now we're screwed. Okay, because there's three of us, and there's God knows how many of them, and they have a head start? Yeah, but they don't know which tower to go to yet. Well, that's great, Nathan, because neither do we. Yes, we do. <laughs> Look, it's a little worn down. Right there, that's a match. Yeah, you sure? Because, I mean, it could be this one, too. But still, two beats the hell out of 12. All right. I'm gonna take this tower. You and Sully, you take that no, one. No, 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 no. No, Rafe's guys are all over these towers by now. Exactly. So if we want to have a chance to catch them, then we've got to split up. Uh, Sam, just hold up a second, will you? Nate, he's right. These towers are at opposite ends of King's Bay. Damn it. If you run into any of those shoreline clouds, you call us, okay? See you soon. Come on, Nate. We gotta hurry. Yeah. Oh, 
Right, there's our tower. You really think all that treasure's gonna be just sitting in the middle of a goddamn market? Oh, yeah, that'd be crazy. But we've seen crazy before. That we have. <laughs>